My kids love Coney Island, and they're Coney Island babies. It's just home for them. Who doesn't like to play in dirt, you know? My name is Chrissy Cocktail, and I am just an all-around clown. I always loved clowns in the circus. I wanted to be a clown forever. My mother was a schizophrenic, and she had some drug and alcohol problems. My mother left when I was about six. I went from home to home to home. I've never thought anything was wrong with my life. I guess I just never realized people didn't live like that. My daughter is very fresh. She's tenacious. She's a pain in my ass. She really is. But she's good. She's brilliant. She's a good girl. Cookie, cupcake, donut. Cookie, cupcake, donut. Cookie, cupcake, <gasps> donut. I want you to meet true sideshow royalty. Just happens to be Miss Chrissy Cocktail. I think the idea of a clown is almost like magic. You watch them and you're entertained and it just brings you to a different place. So whatever's happening in your head, it just automatically has to be cut out. It's hell. It's complete hell. But where else are you going to have fun at? My first tattoo, I had a family crest. I had to get something that meant something. My neck, I have a voodoo doll. Portrait of my husband. He is a pain in my neck, too. You can't get your husband's name tattooed on you because then it's an automatic divorce. He's not that good looking, so I really don't want his picture sagging on my body somewhere. Ooh. I never saw myself getting married or having a family. I think my husband grounded me. He gave me more focus. His family's all very tight-knit. I was very uncomfortable being around them for a long time. I felt very out of place and very uncomfortable, and I couldn't understand it. It's not that I didn't love his family. I just didn't understand how to be a part of it. and that I actually learned that's what family was about. Everybody that's affiliated with Coney Island USA, we're all one big family. We got really lucky.
This is how Chrissy earns her living. Now, not just to support herself, no, but to feed her two precious albino hemophiliac children at home. <laughs> and there's one of them right now. There she is. Hey, you're not, you're not an albino. What do you say? I'm so hungry. That's right, she's so hungry. So we do ask that your contribution is no less than just one dollar. I went from a loner, wanting to run away with the circus, to actually becoming part of a circus and being a part of a family. Oh, I love my family more than Guinness and cherry pie and strawberry moon pies. I can't believe I have made it this far. And I'm hoping better things come. <laughs>